Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and today I'm going to compare the TDC, TDV, and TDX diffusers. From the face, the TDC, TDV, and TDX may look almost the same, but their performance is very different. So let's start with the TDC. I'm sure I've drawn the TDC before, but the TDC is a louvered face diffuser. So from the face, it looks something like this, and it has a four-way airflow pattern. So the air pattern would look like this, where there are four distinct jets going in four different directions. Because the airflow leaves the diffuser in four pretty distinct jets, it has a fairly long throw. The TDV is also a louvered diffuser, But between each louver, it has some deflectors. The deflectors shorten the throw a bit and give it the pattern a little more spread. So it kind of looks like this. So let me clean up this one just a little bit. Okay, so that's like way better. Having a shorter throw allows you to put the diffusers a little closer together. You might want this if you need to get more airflow into a space due to the load requirements of the space. But you still need to make sure that the airflow in the occupied space is not greater than 50 feet per minute so that people are comfortable. So the shorter throw might mean you could put more air through the diffuser or you could maybe get an extra diffuser in the space to handle the higher load. Next we have the TDX. Again, the TDX is a louvered face diffuser, and it also has deflectors in between the louvers, but these deflectors give it an even shorter throw pattern. It makes the pattern almost a hybrid between a cross flow pattern and a circular pattern. It looks something like this. The TDX is a high mixing diffuser. So much like the TDV, you can use it you can use the TDX when you need to put more diffusers into a space to handle a higher load. It allows you to put them closer together without having an issue of colliding airstreams that might make people uncomfortable in the room. High mixing is also a good thing for cold air systems, so let's look at all of these together. So you can see down here is the 150 feet per minute isovel for each of these diffusers. So if the supply was 250 CFM of 55 degree air, this 150 foot per minute point is about seven and a half feet out from the diffuser center line, and that's where it's about 70 degrees. In the TDV, it's about seven feet out and 70 degrees. And in the TDX, it's about four and a half feet out and 70 degrees. The high mixing of the TDX allows you to use colder supply air, so maybe 45 degrees supply air if you have a cold air system and you can get it warm to 75 degree by the time it hits the occupied space so that everybody's comfortable. So if you look at applications, the TDC is used in standard applications. We see it in a lot of offices. The TDV are for higher load or maybe you want to get more spread out of your diffuser. And then the TDX would be used for high load spaces or for cold air systems. One thing to remember though is that the higher mixing could cause additional sound. So depending on your airflow, the TDX could be 3 or 4 NC higher than the TDC or TDV. I put some links below to show you actual smoke videos of the TDC and TDX in operation. So that's the comparison between the TDC, TDV, and TDX. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking time out with us.